Hey everybody, and welcome to this little video about uh, the Firebase real-time rules. In this short video, I will uh, show you um, what they are and examples of, of typical rules and what they do. First of all, uh, we have different types of um, parts of these real-time rules. We have the read that controls access to our data. We have write that will uh, control the ability to create and edit and delete data. We have validate that will control the format of the data. And finally, we have index on that will allow us to uh, create an index uh, so that we can order and query data. If we uh, take a look first here, we also have some wildcard uh, variables. This is used when you want to refer to, uh, for instance, the user ID uh, that we have here, or, or maybe uh, the node ID for a given node in uh, Firebase. And we also have some other wildcard variables. You can see more about that on, uh, on the documentation. A typical example of a rule is if we disable all security, uh, everybody will have read and write access and this will make the database wide open to attacks. Uh, we have this uh, JSON construct here with rules and we have read, true and write true. Our database is wide open now. And this is also why it's very important to define these real-time rules. It is very important that you lock down your database because otherwise everybody can access your database uh, since Firebase is an online cloud database. An example of where we uh, lock down the database is uh, this here that we, uh, we simply change it to, uh, to read false and write false. Uh, nobody can read or write to the database. If we want to limit access to only authenticated users, we can uh, change to auth is not equal to null and the same in write. This will um, will ensure that only uh, users who are authenticated uh, using Firebase will have read or write access. If we want to give users access to content that they created, we can use the wildcard user ID and we type it in like this. User ID should be the same as the authenticated user. And then in this example, we will uh, allow an authenticated user access to the post that they created. If we want to ensure that new data has certain fields, we can do that with the validate has children. And we can see here that for each post, we will make sure that all new data has an author, a date and a content field. If they don't, they will, uh, it will not be allowed. If we want to ensure that uh, a post author field is a string, if we want to, uh, to make sure that the data type is a certain type, uh, we can do that by using also validate and then child and then a certain field dot is string. And we also have is number uh, to make sure that a certain value is a number. We can also check uh, the length of new data. Here we, uh, we want to check that the author field is a maximum length of 50. We also have the option of making an index. This will allow us to order and sort the data in Firebase. And in this example, we create an index using height and length to sort a list of dinosaurs. If we go back to Firebase here, we can see that we will um, we define the rules in the database and we can see the data here we have no data right now and we can click on rules and as of now we have the standard way that uh, only authenticated users are allowed to read or write you also have a simulator that will allow you to test your rules before that you uh, do it on your real ap application you can do it using both read and write Alright people, that was all for now. Thanks for watching.